576, 3, and 11. Some of you might know what those numbers mean, uh, but if there is, uh, you know, there are 576 U.S. micropolitan areas in the United States. And in 2016, Wayne County ranked third in business expansion activity. This continues an 11 year run of being consecutively in the top six micropolitans in the country. And um, I can say, having looked at the research, there's no other micropolitan in the country that's been able to sustain this level of success over that period of time. We're often asked by other communities how we're able to achieve this level of success so consistently. We have other communities call us, they come visit us, they want to know what our secret is. And I tell them that there's three factors, really. Uh, number one is we have a diverse mix of industries here in Wayne County, great companies. We have a well-executed strategic plan at the Wayne Economic Development Council, and we have a supportive and collaborative community. There were 20 companies across the county that expanded last year to help us achieve this training. Remember David Letterman's top 10 things he used to go through? Well, I've got, I call it Gene's top four. And these are in order of importance. Uh, 2016 was a great year in Northeast Ohio. And most Ohioans, and most of you in this uh, room will remember four events. Cleveland Indians made it to the World Series. Number three was the Cleveland Cavaliers won the NBA championship. Number two was after a year of planning, strategizing, and hard work, the Workforce and Innovations Network gained some traction and came out with its first project, Work and Wayne. And of course, number one was our number three ranking in the country for micropolitan areas for new business development. Uh, Sir Winston Churchill once was quoted, however beautiful the strategy, should it occasionally look at the results, and this organization gets results. So, uh, Vince Lombardi once said, the achievements of an organization are the results of the combined, combined effort of each individual. That's why Wayne County ranks in the top 10 in the nation economically, year after year. Leaders in this county have passion for economic development. Now, I've been personally involved with Wayne Economic Development for uh, now eight years. I've been so impressed with the involvement of all our community leaders. Each month, 20 to 25 leaders give their time to discuss economic development in our county. This commitment is the reason why this economy thrives in Wayne County. Now, when companies like Daisy Products come to town and show an interest in Wayne County, everybody gets involved. Now, my, my goal here is to say what are the goals for Wayne Economic Development Council over the next year. The first goal is pretty simple. We have three goals. Uh, the first goal is to support business uh, growth. And this is a goal that we've had in the last 20 years, and that's to support existing businesses as well as new businesses that are coming to our county. The second goal is really to enhance the work in Wayne effort. Uh, we want to continue to work on filling the talent pipeline here in our county. Our third goal, as Rob put it in our, our video, really is this year we're going to focus on industrial pride, the prop, industrial sites. You know, we need to look at the next five years, ten years, uh, how do we continue to bring uh, businesses into Wayne County or the sites for existing businesses in Wayne County. So I'm going to end my presentation exactly with the same quote. I'm only going to change the last two lines of this quote. The achievement of an organization are the results of a combined effort <coughs> of everybody involved in economic development here in Wayne County. Thank, well, thank you for the uh, great welcoming and uh, all the uh, attention that we're getting. Um, I think when, when I look back and I look around to the experiences that I've had uh, with Worcester really since day one is the involvement uh, from the community. Um, it's come from everyone. And for um, if I were to look at our other sites in Texas, Arizona, um, I don't think I've met with a group of people who were then asked to uh, present 
uh, who Daisy is uh, to a large group like this ever. So um, it's it's uh, very great to have that support in a com community when we're investing uh, the amount of uh, dollars and um, the reliance we have on, on the community. Um, um, a little bit about um, moving on to talk about Daisy Brand um, and, and where our roots come from is uh, if you, it's almost a four and a half generation um, family business starting out in the early 1900s from uh, Russian immigrants. Um, started out uh, um, uh, selling dairy products on the streets of Chicago and uh, Probably one of the fundamentals that kind of affects us today in our thinking is uh, there was a fire at the um, at the at their plant in Chicago that moved them to Texas, and from there on the, the mindset of we're going to do business as friends with the community that we're in, and so you'll see a little bit of that as far as uh, who we are, some of the fundamentals in our business. Um, Probably another keynote came in, in the late 70s with the David Sikolsky, who is the current CEO, um, fourth generation. I, I think one of the stories in the late 70s and kind of the fundamental of, of who we are today is he took, um, he took the business and cut it in half. Um, he went from 58 SKUs of products down to one, and that was sour cream. His dad thought he was nuts. Um, how are you going to keep things going? And it, it really is about that focus that uh, started off um, who we are today. We're not fancy. We don't do anything that um, uh, we don't get uh, lost in all these other things. We just stay focused in, in the businesses that we're in. Um, the next thing, probably another pivotal uh, time, was in the late uh, 90s when uh, David uh, broke ground on the new plant in our Garland, Texas. Really, it was the foundation for the quality of our product. Uh, it allowed the environment, the plant, uh, the equipment to uh, be able to focus on the quality that has become uh, a backbone of who we are. In 2007, uh, we started uh, Kai's Cheese. It seemed like yesterday, uh, it, but it's already been uh, going on 10 years. And um, that's also some of the excitement that I'll talk about uh, at, at Worcester here in a little bit. Um, in 08, we built our, our a new facility in Arizona as we continued to grow, wanting to place ourselves in good uh, geographic regions. Um, and then uh, uh, the more uh, relevant uh, activity was uh, in September of this year, we started producing sour cream at the Worcester plant. So that's been, it's been exciting. It's been almost five years um, since we started the, the land search for the plant. And, um, and like I say, the support of the community is, has been awesome and, and um, we're, we're very uh, happy to be a part of it. One of the things that um, I would say uh, uh, Daisy continues to invest in the future, the number one thing that uh, we find is is that we have to hire and invest in people. Um, I like to hear about uh, the work that you're doing with the workforce. Uh, working in manufacturing is not sexy. It's not something that um, I know my kids, they, they look at me like they're going to the factory. Um, it's just not something that uh, that generation is uh, really excited about. Um, and I can't understand why. Um, there's a lot of fun stuff. But the, the investing in people, really that's the foundation because if you don't have the people, you can't move your company forward. And um, the next piece is investing in our infrastructure. Another piece that you guys talked about is uh, looking for land for, um, for uh, future companies to come to Worcester. What I've found in business over the years is, is that uh, the, the old adage, um, uh, you, have to, uh, you have to build and they will come. 
And if you don't, if you don't invest and have that forethought in the, the future, um, people will uh, go elsewhere. And uh, I find out with uh, anything we buy uh, in the, for the plants that we, uh, if it's not there, if we have to wait, we'll move on and go elsewhere because uh, there's no uh, time is of the essence for a lot of things. Uh, 